Hello everyone, my name is Andy, I'm the creator of Event Horizon Gaming and today we're gonna talk about what you should do and what you can do in order to progress your account as efficiently and as fast as possible. So, if you are really early into the game, populating the account and completing the storyline and campaign should be the top priority because it will allow you to reach higher stages into the resource farming and additional content. But uh, for what makes an account progress for um, mid to late game accounts or even early on? Well, all in all, we all know that getting heroes is going to progress the account, is going to, depending on the hero, allow you to reach higher content, is going to help you progress through campaign, is going to help you progress and go into higher levels of guild boss, of gear raid and so on and so forth. Afterwards, it would be gear and artifacts. Uh, then it would be resources and those are split into three cat categories well, those would be stamina and gold the other would be um, summoning crystals uh, including ancient rare and divine and the third one should be gems why do i put these three in different categories well because stamina and gold are used specifically to help you gear, um, capture and get gear and farm gear from uh, gear um, gear rates and artifacts as well it's used to farm gold and exp and um, this is mainly the best resource resource that you can have because everything that you can do in this game you can farm but you cannot farm without stamina so that's one of the most important resource and gold and exp well because each of these is going to help you progress uh, and upgrade your heroes gold you can use gold to upgrade your uh, heroes gear and you can use exp to upgrade your heroes overall and quick upgrade some fodder heroes in order to have some uh, heroes to spare to upgrade up to six stars your legendaries then the summoning crystals well in order to get those heroes and uh, use the resources to um, upgrade your heroes you must get heroes right so Summoning crystals are one of the most important resources into the game that's going to progress your account. Uh, and then gems. Why do I put gems in a single different third category? Well, because gems are the most versatile resource in this game. Why? Because you can use gems like um, um, in the shop, in the black market shop, to actually dis buy discounted huge stamina potions or rare summoning crystals. You can use gems from the, to buy huge stamina potions directly from the shop. That's going to provide additional stamina for you to farm stuff. But you can also use gems to summon heroes. So this is why it's important to save as many gems as you can and use them wisely in order to see what you want to do with your account. So basically that's the gist of it. Uh, besides that, uh, another huge huge area of the game that's going to help improve your account are the rewards and this game is quite um, quite nice in how many rewards they give us so uh, it's important to make use and be as efficient as possible and capture every single reward that we can get that means doing oracle trials uh, watching out for different events doing tight and hyperion every single day but most importantly finishing daily quests weekly quests and monthly quests as well besides that there are also arena rewards there's also void drift it's also going to be guild boss and uh, guild war rewards but uh, all in all i want to present in this video how with everything in mind with all of this in mind with everything in mind uh, what you should do every single day and every beginning of the week in order to maximize the amount of rewards and have everything possible for so your account progresses as quickly as possible so without uh, any more delay uh, I entered the game I received the rewards because I finished first in the arrival of heroes if uh, you have any other oracle trials that you participated in you can claim those as well so I claim my rewards there I go back and I start with the very small things. So as I said, quests and these are, this here are very important. But it's 
too much of a hassle to go and scroll through all these and choose and do everything at a time so i'm just going to show you a nice and efficient uh, chain of activities that you can do in such a way that you don't even have to look at the quest tab and just collect everything and claim all at the end so do as i do and you will have a nice fast and efficient way of doing um, stuff daily in watch of Realms. so first of all you enter the game you claim whatever it's shown to you on the screen as long as it's free right and then go to the friends tab a uh, quick claim and give points here because this is going to progress you towards the quest line as you can see i quick claimed and captured everything then you'll want to click on the shop go to regular bundle get the free stuff from the regular bundle as well there's also going to be another uh, daily offer that's going to provide you with some minimal amount of gold and exp then you want to go to the pantheon just click on it you don't want to do anything else for now then you'll want to go to the black uh, market shop the dwarven association buy every single thing that you can from the hero section as long as you don't pay it with diamonds buy every single insignia right if you see a mythic artifact that you are interested in uh, from a set that you're interested in you can buy it check it if it's something that you would like it's not so i just sell it this is important because basically it's free gear that can be quite good for your account then another insignia with gold you can buy if you want and if you feel like you want to spend gems for auto fight chances but usually i just i don't i don't spend anything with gems in the dwarven shop uh, if it's not uh, huge stamina potions or uh, discounted rare summoning crystals so for the sake of how i do it i'm just gonna not do it but you're free to do it if you have a lot of gems I would still save them though then very important go to the free refresh button refresh it buy the fodder again because this is going to help you progress into the um arrival of heroes not arrive not arrival of heroes the upgrading heroes event where the many the more heroes that you upgrade the more rewards you're going to get and that's pretty much it i bought the huge stamina potion as well with diamonds free refresh again buy the heroes that are not rare buy the insignias next refresh again and you'll want to refresh until you meet a point where a refresh will cost you five diamonds so that's gonna be it nothing interesting here left insignias heroes basically the fodder and that's it refresh once again insignias heroes there's the rare summoning discounted buy that with gold refresh again the same thing insignia mythic artifact check it it's not that great but it's not good either it has hp and hp bone and hp bonus which is good so i'm gonna lock this in and save it maybe he has some good rolls and then after we reach this point you can use it once if you want i wouldn't because uh, i like main maxing go to the guild shop make sure to buy everything in the guild shop that's rares and save for legendary skill crystals otherwise every time you have enough resources for the legendary skill crystal you should buy it from the guild shop then go into the arena shop claim the rewards here right you get an animation buy the weekly rare summoning crystals by the daily this is very important the rare summoning crystals are weekly but the huge stamina potion is daily so don't forget to do to, to buy the huge stamina potion daily right and if you get into the point where you can buy you, you finish to the monthly rewards um timeout you can also buy the legendary skill crystals the ancient the legendary and the ancient again you'll then you want to go to the awakening shop and check if there is anything interesting with the resources that you have most probably you will have epic awakening tokens if you are later into the game so right now i can buy with this resource the legendary skill crystal so i'm gonna buy it because these are very scarce and that's pretty much it this is what you should you should do daily after checking your friends tab and stuff so we've gotten the dwarven association dealt with for today then you'll want to go tight right you would think that i should go to tight next no you would actually want to go first to the faction trial and complete your factions right 
because first of all maybe you can upgrade your Hyperion through farming the faction first and that's going to affect the amount of BP that you have in the tide right because those count as deployed heroes so I highly doubt that this is going to be the case for me but for example if I would be to finish the faction trials first then uh, I would be probably be able to upgrade my Hyperion and then after I upgrade my Hyperion I get the rewards from there and then go to die so just do this first go back to the faction trials I'm not gonna do it for the sake of the video because it's going to be way too long but uh, go to the faction trials you finish them up then go towards the tide see if you can complete the stage if you can complete it mandatory finish it first before claiming the reward but other than that if it's like here you are still in the red since tide is just a bp check just claim loot and be sure to claim the loot every single day then go to the talent the talents upgrade I have a video in which I explain uh, Tide in a more, more in depth so if you want to see how you want to prioritize your upgrades make sure to check that out I'm gonna put it in the description below and then after you finished Tide you want to go to the arena and just play one arena you don't have to win it just play it once I'm gonna do an auto fight here just for the sake of the video so probably I'm gonna skip it towards the end so you guys can you don't have to watch through all this so I'm gonna skip okay so we want this arena right we get this uh, winning reward screen we go back uh, you don't have to do anything else here then you'll want to go to and check your email tab I haven't claimed some rewards even though I didn't do void rift last time um you'll want to go into the event tab check if there's something here that you will want to claim and also it's important to check what you'll want to do and how to prioritize your farming your daily farming depending on what events and oracle trials there are check the oracle trials as well make sure you claim everything i i've already claimed the arrival of heroes rewards um and then you go towards the idle rewards claim what you've already been able to accumulate go towards the daily quest and as you can see these are almost completed in the battle pass and then go towards the guild you want to go towards guild boss claim your rewards in the guild boss there you go i got an ancient summon crystal that's nice There we go. And make sure that you auto fight. And uh, so we don't forget you want to do this now. Just click auto fight and auto fight in each stage. So you get the rewards uh, tomorrow as well. Afterwards, you'll want to go towards the donation, the guild tap donation. Um, donate everything here as long as it's not rare summoning crystals or epic summoning crystals or. Um, legendary summoning crystals those are very scarce and also do not i i re reiterate do not do the quest that implies you to donate insignias hyperion insignias those are very bad uh, also i no longer have rare summoning crystals if you do you can use those i mean i don't need them um and then go to guild quests claim everything after you've attacked the boss two times you're going to be able to clear that as well and depending on what's in the oracle trial you'll want ex for example it's vault in the sands now i've created yesterday a video in which i explain you how you can clear stage 21 from uh, vault from gear a2 so you can watch that if you want i'll put it in the link in the description uh and by this point you'll just want to start farm start farming whatever it's in the oracle trial in the event tab and uh your quests are basically going to be completed as you can see i've already i already have six out of ten quests completed uh then do not do this one summon quest ever you don't need to and just save summons for example i wouldn't do it especially now because there's no event here there's no multiplayer there's nothing so you just go here 
after you've claimed the rewards from the guild you'll be able to do that as well this is the weekly right I uh, so I've also completed some weekly stuff and in the daily after you do some oracle farming definitely 100 stamina is not going to be hard to spend and um, after you've bought everything from the from the black market you can just go into the hero tab and quick start up some heroes as well so we just go here quick start up and this is enough i would keep purple or epic and uh legendary not legendary but the from i would not start up heroes from three to four and from five from four to five stars yet unless there is an event that would give you some rewards for that so this is why it's important for you to also buy the fodder from the black market shop because if you do that daily it provides quite a decent amount of fodder that you can actually start up and build up towards um, a lot of good heroes that you can level up so this is basically it if you do this every day even if you don't necessarily play the game too much let's say you have you are very busy with work or you're on holiday and you don't want to spend time on your phone this can take up to five minutes maximum so you do this for five minutes and you're set you're good to go i don't know you are on a break you are going to the bathroom you can do whatever do this every single day and your account is not going to freeze in time just because you're not having enough time to play it so um, make sure that uh, you do what i told you to make sure that uh, you leave a like you subscribe leave a comment as well if you have any questions or inquiries i will respond to every single comment that i see all in all i hope this was helpful uh, this has been andy event horizon gaming bye bye